Carolyn Sumners. I've been here since the summer of 1970, which is passing up 39 years pretty quickly. And I started out as a teacher in the planetarium. I've done the education department. I've worked with the George Observatory. I've designed the Earthform exhibit that we're in right now, as well as the chemistry hall. I'm working now in our new museum in Sugarland. Basically, I do whatever is exciting and I'm competent to handle. I'm now the vice president for astronomy and the physical sciences. Oh, the museum was tiny when I first started. The dinosaur was just a cardboard cutout. Uh, they had just opened the first wing besides the planetarium. The planetarium was first. There was a breezeway connecting the two, not a grand hall, nothing grand at all. And there was a tiny, tiny, tiny little gift shop. Um, and we were just beginning to get exhibits of any sort. We had a um, few bits and pieces of lots of different stuff, just a hint of what the museum would ultimately become, kind of a teaser. And it was an exciting time to be here. Well, the planetarium started as a star field and a pointer uh, with a few slide projectors here and there. Uh, I remember in the 1980s, we went to video and thought, oh my, 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 we have a moving image in the center of the dome that was so exciting. And we figured out a way to make it go into the star field so you never knew it, it was really a movie. And then uh, we were the first planetarium in the United States, second in the world, to do full dome video, and that happened in 1998. And since then, the planetarium has become an interesting alternative to the movie theater, as well as the star field that it's always been. Oh, the most significant one event was charging. Uh, we char always charged the planetarium, like 50 cents or maybe a dollar. Oh, we were horrified when we charged a dollar. But we charged something. So a person had to commit some resource to come in. The museum was always free. It made us far more responsive when we didn't charge. And there's some museums who still don't charge and they're kind of trapped in the same thing. They do what they want to do, what they think is important. Once you charge, you do what the public wants and what the public thinks is important. And the education is better, the entertainment is better. We serve the public better when we give the public the kind of information they're looking for. There's not a better job for what I can do in Houston. And it, it, we're in Space City. Uh, I get to create new things all the time, working on a new planetarium show about what's going to happen to the Earth when it gets hit by something. That's been a very, very cool thing to do. Meet neat people. Uh, teach a lot of children. I am lucky enough to be one of the staff here that also belongs to the Houston Independent School District. So I've seen almost 40 years of HISD kids. They're smarter. It, it, the demographics of the district have changed, but with the testing, third graders, fourth graders that we see read. And it's, it's quite impressive to see really positive changes. And that's something you see if you have longevity in, a, in a, a one location. Plus the fact it's just it's just too perfect a job.